Greetings and welcome to the Introduction to Astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 9th of 2019, well, it is titled Saturn the Giant. So here we're talking about Saturn, not the planet Saturn, but the Saturn V rocket. And that is the rocket that was used to take the astronauts to the moon. And here is the image taken 52 years ago today, which was the Saturn V rocket launching of uh, for the Apollo, one of the Apollo missions. And in fact, this was one of the very early missions, Apollo 4, which was actually an unmanned flight and was going into orbit as a test of the Saturn V rocket that would just a couple of years later take the astronauts to the moon. So there were a number of Saturn V rockets that were built and a number of them took astronauts to the moon. Some others initially were used for test flights like this one, both unmanned as this one was and manned flights. Now, the Saturn V rocket is what they call a heavy lift vehicle to be able to lift a large payload up, not just into a low Earth orbit as getting something up to, say, the space station, which is only a couple hundred miles above the Earth, but to be able to actually break from the Earth's gravity and get the, a large payload, including the astronauts and all their equipment, to the moon. And if you look at the rocket here, the vast majority of this is all fuel. It is only the top sections that actually house the astronauts and their equipment. Pretty much the uh, larger sections towards the bottom. And you can leave the top, you know, quarter of it or so, or even less, that would actually house the astronauts and their equipment. So a very small amount of that actually carried material. Most of it is needed, is fuel needed to be able to launch the rocket above and get above the Earth's gravity. And there's actually two things that it's fighting there. It's fighting against the Earth's gravitational well. But even that... If you, of course, you also need to fight through the Earth's atmosphere. So the atmosphere creates a frictional drag that slows things down. So not only do you have to accelerate to get away from the Earth, but you also have to accelerate to get through the atmosphere. So why was it able to, with, much a, small, with a much smaller object, be able to launch from the moon? Well, the moon has a much smaller gravity, about one-sixth of the Earth's. And it also has no atmosphere. So once you can launch up to escape velocity, you are then able to get back into orbit around the moon. Here for the Earth, you need a much larger rocket to be able to launch that. So, for example, had we needed such a large rocket like this to be able to get away from the moon, it would have required an even larger rocket here on Earth because you not only would have to launch all of that, but all of the additional fuel, which fortunately was not needed for the lunar astronauts. As again, they needed only a small amount of fuel to be able to break away from the lower gravity of the moon. So here we see the Saturn V rocket, in fact, in its test flight on the Apollo 4 mission from 1967. So that was our picture of the day for November the 9th of 2019. It was titled Saturn the Giant. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Wise Young Stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.